Here they are on holiday at Park Dean Resorts, Cooper's Beach. I knew this was here, I see it on the map. East Mercy Parish Church. So let's go and have a little look round. Just done the drone stuff. Left my stuff inside on the grass. Let's go and have a look round it and get inside. Caroline's gone inside, so it is open, which is good. So just a drone video on one side. Wasn't happy getting the drone too far. We'll go inside and have a little look. Right, let's go. There we are, look at that. Nice old school little church. Mercy Island. It's in Essex. So let's go and have a little look now. We'll go inside first. Nice cooler temperature on a warm day today. You'll notice actually you're going to hit you the coldness. Here we go. This is nice. Every old school church seems to have one of those. Steps up to some windows. Yeah. One it um Church Hammer had one of those. Little steps to nowhere. Church back home, about 30 miles away. Look at that. Nice stained glass windows. Yeah, look at that little old school church. Proper organ there, works on air. Yeah, and have a moat in there. Fan pushing air through, I'd say that's not electronic. No, that is genuine, I can see the pipes. Yeah. That is generally old school organ. There we are, look at that. Get a nice view of the stained glass window. How was that for an old school pulpit? I don't think it's used to be fair because there's no steps to it. Expecting steps around the side and I walk in, you can't get to it. Well, you'd open up that door there and get in, but my guess is it's not used. I just stand here, see, Bible readings. Vicar there, maybe, do the order of service. No, it's nice. Temperature drops in here, you notice it. It's going to be a good week. It's Tuesday today, Tuesday the 5th of September. Nice house next door, not sure I got that on the drone, but concentrating on the church. Okay, let's have a little walk around so we can see. How long's already do it as I was um, flying the drone. I didn't record any drone of this side, I just thought it was a bit much of a risk. It seemed easier to go up from where I did. So let's have a little look. Yeah, look at that. A bell or two in there, I would imagine. Yeah, I'll miss that from the inside. I must use a fire door, I don't know. Can't normally see sort of straight in then, this one's quite good. Ground level's higher than what it is inside. I'd say you're a foot or two higher outside. Ground level changes. There we go. It's an interesting one. Who's this? Let's have a look. Sarah Wrench died May the 6th, 1848. 15 years and five months. Ah, oh, she's 15. But that was an illness. Illness had the event, it wouldn't now, would not be a problem now. We had something wrong. There's that stained glass window. Done from the inside. There we are, look at that. They always look better on the inside than the out. I've noticed that before, they don't look anything outside. Inside, they're nice. There are some old school ones there, look. Some bigger ones. Getting hard to read now, what we got on here. Let's have a look. Uh, see, my guess is it's there. 
1815, 1861. Getting hard to make out now. There we are, I've only had a little look round. House next door. Can't go through the gate private. Obviously into their house. So there it is then. The little parish church. Commonwealth War Graves. Let's go and see if we can find them. Never easy to find unless you sort of pre plan it on a website, but we'll have a look. They'll be here somewhere. In love and memory of Alfred Edward. There they are. Number 160354 Essex Regiment. Dearly loved husband of Katie Russell. There they are. He died just before Christmas, 23rd December. 1918 he was 30. My guess is this is one of the Commonwealth War graves mentioned on the way in or could be the only one I'm not sure. There we are. Yeah. Katie did well, got to 1984. Yeah look at that. He died 1918. Also memory of his dear brother Sidney Russell. Got to 1961. There we are, younger brother. That could be the Commonwealth War Graves. And Bertha Sam's daughter of Alfred and Katie, and her husband Victor Thomas. There they are. Later says 2002. Victor died 1984. As Katie did. So there we go. That might be a Commonwealth War Grave mentioned on the way in. Yeah, some nice, nice gravestones.